Hello friends, next we will consider data presentation, next topic is data presentation, how will you present that data. So here for the graphical representation of data, we can use the graph. So graph is what, it is a visual form for presentation. Now different advantages of graphical presentation, first is it provides an attractive and impressive view, second one is it simplifies the complexity of data. It provides easy comparison of two or more phenomena. It needs no special knowledge of mathematics to understand a graph. It provides the basic to locate the statistical measures like median, mode, quantiles, etc. It saves the time and energy. So these are the different advantages of graphical presentation. Now commonly used graphs are histogram, frequency polygon, ojai or cumulative frequency curve, stem and leaf plot. So, we will see one by one. Now, first is histogram. One of the most important useful methods for representing frequency distribution of continuous series is known as histogram. So, histogram is used to represent what? Frequency distribution of continuous series. Histogram is nothing but it is a bar graph which shows frequency distribution. Now, steps to draw the histogram. The magnitude of the class interval is plotted along the horizontal axis and a frequency on the vertical axis. So, on the horizontal axis, we have to consider what? Class interval and frequency on the vertical axis. Each class has lower and upper value. So, it gives what? Two equal vertical lines corresponding to what? Frequency. Now, upper ends of these lines are joined together so that it forms a rectangle. Now, see here histogram. See this example. Here, wages are given in rupees. These are the class intervals 0 to 10, 10 to 20 and so on. Number of works, workers are given. That is nothing but the frequency. So, for the horizontal axis, here we have to consider what? Class interval. So, see for 0 to 10. 0 is the lower limit, 10 is the upper limit. So, here these are the two vertical lines. Now, see number of workers are here 5. So, here this is 5. So, for this, this is vertical line for 0 and this is vertical line for 10. That is for this class interval. Now, join this horizontal line so that here rectangle is formed. Same for the 10 to 20. So, 10 to 20 value is 8, frequency is 8. So, see this for 10, your vertical line is up to this and for 20, it is up to this. Now, join this with the help of horizontal line. Same for 20 to 30, it is 10. Now, see it is 10. So, here these two vertical line, sorry, vertical lines, it is connected with the help of horizontal line. So, it forms again a rectangle. For 30 to 40, again it is 14. So, here these two vertical lines are up to 14 and join with the help of this horizontal line. In this way, you can draw this histogram for the given data. So, next frequency polygon. So, here frequency polygon for a group frequency distribution with equal class intervals, a frequency polygon is obtained by joining the middle point of the upper sides. So, we have seen already in the histogram, see, so for that histogram, we have to consider what middle point uh, of the adjacent rectangles of the histogram by means of a straight lines. So, we have to join this middle point with the help of straight lines. To complete the polygon, the midpoints at each end are joined to the immediately lower and higher midpoints at zero frequency. See here, see this example. Again, the same example is there. Histogram is already there. So, we have to draw here frequency polygon. How you, you, can, you can draw here? See, consider the midpoint of this. Now, midpoint of this, midpoint of this one and so on. See, these are the midpoints of this histogram. Now, join this midpoint with the help of straight line so that you will get the frequency polygon. Now, see straight line. See here, we can join from here to here, again from here to here, again see from here to here and last one is this. So, this is nothing but what? Frequency polygon for the given data items. Now, next ojai or cumulative frequency curve. See here, when cumulative frequencies are plotted on a graph, then the frequency curve obtained is called as ojai or cumulative frequency curve. Now, ojai determine what? Median, quartiles and percentiles. We will see later on this. 
the class limits are shown along the x axis and cumulative frequencies along the y axis now there are two methods for constructing ojai curve first is less than ojai curve and second is more than ojai curve now less than cumulative frequencies are plotted against the upper class boundaries of the respective classes then the points are joined by a smooth free end curve simply you have to join with the help of smooth free end now more than ojai curve more than cumulative frequencies are plotted against the more class sorry lower class boundaries of the respective classes then the points are joined by again same smooth free hand curve see for this less than ojai curve we have to consider what upper class boundaries of the respective classes and we have to consider here less than cumulative frequencies and for the more than here more than cumulative frequencies we have to consider now see this example here in the table marks are given in the interval 0 to 10 10 to 20 these are the different classes now number of students in the respective classes are there now less than cumulative frequency is already given 10 30 60 you can calculate also this now more than cumulative frequency also here it is given now you have to draw what ojai curve so see first is first 0 to 10 see this is the class 0 to 10 for that less than cumulative frequency is what 10 so see here 0 to 10 it is 10 now for the 10 to 20 it is 30 10 to 20 it is see 30 so here we can join now 20 to 30 it is 60 20 to 30 it is 60 so here we can construct this 30 to 40 it is 110 30 to 40 it is 110 so here this is the point now 40 to 50 it is 150 so this is another point and 50 to 60 it is 180 so this is 180 so we can join all these points with the help of smooth free hand now next more than cumulative frequency for this 0 to 10 class interval here more than cumulative frequency value is 180 so here see 180 now next one for 10 to 20 it is 170 so here it is 170 after that 150 is there so see next one after 120 according to the even classes huh? next one is 70 and last one is your 30 and last end this up to what last class interval that is up to zero okay so this is what ojai curve for less than cumulative frequency as well as more than cumulative frequency now next topic is stem and leaf plot now see one of the useful techniques of exploratory data analysis means if you have to present the data if you have to generate what exploratory data analysis part in that case stem and leaf displays technique is used now it is a graphical display of the numerical value in an effective and condensed form stem and leaf displays are useful for displaying the relative density and shape of the data then stem and leaf displays separate values in day to data set into leading digits and trailing digits now in stem and leaf plot each data value is split into what stem and leaf now see leaf is usually the last digit of the number and other digits to the left of the leaf form what stem see for example here number is given 123 in that case here stem is 12 first you have to consider what leaf leaf is here 3 and stem is here remaining digits are 1 2 so it is stem now see another example here in this example different data items are there see 12 23 19 16 6, we have to prepare a stem and leaf plot for this data so how you prepare first consider what stem and here leaf is consider now see first data item that is the smallest we have to consider ascending order huh? first 6 and 7 so this 6 is nothing but the 0 6 and this is nothing but the 0 7 so here leaf for this two data items are 6 then 7 but stem is here 0 so 0 is common for both so write down in only one single time this is first one huh? stem and leaf next consider this 12 then 19 10 15 and 12 okay now see in this see here leaf part huh? 
19, 10, 15 and 12. So, see leaf consists of these two, then here it is 5, here it is 0, here it is 9, here it is 2. So, smallest value is what? Smallest is here 0. So, first write here 0, then next one is C, 2 is there. So, 2 here is 2 times, so write down here 2 times, this one and this one. Now, next one is 5, so write down this 5 here. Now, next 9, so 9 is here. Now, for this stem is single, so write down here 1 single time. Now, next remaining is 23, then 25 and 21. So, here stem is here 2, then 23, 25, 21, ascending order 1 is the smallest value, then 3 is the next value and 5 is the next. So, this is what representation of stem and leaf here.